Good morning. We're uh, sitting here with uh, Jonathan James, and we're going to have a conversation with Jonathan and with the community. So, welcome, John. Thank you. Okay. Would you, um, uh, I would like to uh, ask you to sort of introduce yourself and tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and uh, how you got here and, uh, and how you got to where we're sitting today. Well, my name is Jonathan James, and I've been in Montana for about 10 years now. Um, I started out in California, lived there until I was about 31, and uh, had an opportunity to move out to uh, Colorado. I had never really been out of the state of California as far as living goes, and I thought it was a, um, a wonderful chance to explore a little bit more of the U.S. And I was there for about, um, about three years, and then had another wonderful opportunity to move up here to Montana. It was a family arrangement with some property that was up here. And uh, I thought that would be a, a, another wonderful opportunity to visit another state and to experience uh, Montana, because I'd heard a lot about it. And um, so I came up here in the summer of 2003, the big fire summer, and uh, have been up here ever since. Great. Um, okay. Could you give us a little bit about uh, your background as far as uh, what you were doing initially and uh, what you're beginning to evolve into? Yeah, I had, uh, I had graduated with a degree in radio television broadcasting uh, in California. But uh, to start out in the Bay Area in that kind of a profession, you had to be really either top notch or you had to go to some tiny little town somewhere else. And, I wasn't able to afford it at the time. I was kind of living literally on nickels and dimes. So um, I ended up working at uh, the university where I had graduated from their accounting department. And um, I had worked there and then worked in the facilities department, also with uh, accounting and purchasing, and then went back to, uh, to the purchasing department before I left there after nine years. So I had an accounting background and purchasing background. And when I went out to uh, Colorado and worked um, there for um, a membership organization, I was hired to help them with their purchasing, which kind of then evolved into a, uh, a service manager position for their uh, outgoing orders for books and also to help take care of the, um, the building and the grounds. And um, after coming up here to Montana, I worked with another membership organization and customer service just to kind of get uh, get something going as far as a job because it was kind of a, a tough time at that point. And um, I had a friend who worked at a furniture store here in town and there was an opportunity for an office manager. And so I took that and uh, worked there for about uh, six years. Um, but kind of during that time period, uh, things in my life kind of started changing. They weren't changing for the better. Things were uh, health issues some of it job related as well. And so I guess through a progression, um, I began to realize that where I was at was just not working for me. And also where I was living too at, at the time wasn't working for me. And I, um, from there, I made the decision that uh, I needed to do something different to get healthy. That was important to me. So I moved. Uh, to another part of town, and then I had left my uh, job there to uh, to pursue what I'm currently into, which is um, holistic therapy. And part of it is also just a, a realization and an awakening um, of who I truly am. And um, it's it's been a fascinating journey because I've been doing a lot of personal work, and um, I like to be able to help other individuals as well that may be in similar situations to find out who they truly are so that they can begin living uh, the life that they were destined to live. 